Hello, my name is Michael and today I'm going to talk a little about microgreens and growing in a new sort of channel based system. So stick along. Microgreens, they contain a lot of nutrients and they have a lot of different flavors depending on what variety you choose and they go really quick to grow around 8-12 days from seed to harvest. So that has been made it a very interesting plant to grow for very many. So if you're using good equipment right away, you're gonna get some good results, which really makes it a whole lot more fun. For you that has grown microgreens using soil, you know it tends to be a little bit messy. And that made us to choose a new growing media. And what we found was something called hemp fiber. And the good thing about the hemp fiber is it's uh, renewable and can be composted. So that's really good. So this is what I want to show you. This is the, the goal that we want to achieve. So let's start by going over the equipment that we need. First and foremost, we need two channels. We need two set of end caps like this. We need one hemp fiber, one 10 centimeters long, and a sprayer, and a bowl of water, and a cup of seeds. We're going to start off by putting on the end cap on one of the channels. Thereafter, take the hemp fiber mat, dip it down into the bowl of water, or rinse it under a hose, for example, and thereafter, let it drip. Put the hemp fiber on the channel and smooth it out. So after you have smoothed it out, take the cup with seeds and try and spread it out as evenly as you can. Thereafter, use the spray bottle and try and get the seed as wet as possible to guarantee a good germination. So after the watering, we want to get the under channel, have the corrugated side up and push it down into the small sections. And the reason for this is we want to press down the seeds into the hemp fiber. So after about two to three days, depending on the temperature, if it's cold, it's going to take longer. If it's warm, it's going to go shorter. Uh, you, when you're lifting the lid, you should see that the seeds have started to germinate and some of them have also started to sprout. It all depends on what variety. Broccoli goes really quick, but if you choose red cabbage, for example, it's going to take a few more days. When the seeds have sprouted, we want to give them a little bit more room. So, so we're going to do that by putting on the end caps on the second channel. And then we're going to have two channels, which is going to be on top of each other. So we can put one with a corrugated side down and a flat side up. And this will create a space for it to sprout better. After two to four more days, you can see that the lid has lifted up a little bit and there's a small gap that's been created. This means that the sprouting stage is done and we're going to take off the top channel so we can start to give them some lights. But before we do that, we want to give them some water and the easiest way I've found to do that is just take a cup of water and pour it on one side and just lift it up and it will go through the whole hemp fiber. One thing to remember is not to overwater it and the reason for that is you don't want stagnant water when you grow microgreens that will cause a lot of problems. Now we can place it in a window with a lot of lights for example or if you have a grow light you can use that instead. I would recommend to water at least once to twice a day and it will take about three to four more days depending on the variety before you can start to harvest your microgreens but they are super nutritious they are very easy to grow and uh, you can use for example a very sharp knife or a scissor to harvest them it's really up to you thank you so much for listening and have a good day